And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father have killed the fatted calf bee, because he have received him safe and sound. And he was angry, and would not go in, therefore came to, to his father, oh, and came his father out and entreated him and he answered said to his father lo these many years do i serve thee neither trans transgressed i at any time thy commandment and ye though never grayest him a kid and that i might make merry with my friends but as soon as this thou son will was come which have devoured thou living with Herod, thou sh has killed him uh killed for him the fetid calf and he said unto him, Son, thou art forever with me, and all that I have thine. It was, it was meant that we should make merry and be glad, for this thou brother was dead, and is alive again, and was lost, and is found. And that is the end. Of that in particular chapter. And these are the words of the Lord. And I hope that you enjoy my reading. Um, the next um the next let me see. Gotta go back to get her. Hebrews twelve fourteen through seventeen. Hebrews is in the back of the book. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man should see the Lord. Looking diligently, lest any man fell on of the grace of God, lest any root of bitterness bringing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Let there be any fornication or profanity, profanity person as Esau, who for one morsel, M-O-R-S-E-L, of meat, so his birthright. For ye know how that afterwards, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. So, this is today's reading. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um... Um, hmm. I gotta go back to school now. I just thought I'd take a break. Um, learning about um, home decorating. Did that this morning. And so we're gonna read and then I'm gonna go back into uh, managing my stress. And things in which I am to do to manage my stress. And to keep my stress levels down. Okay, so um, pray for me as I pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we come today to um, have you to look over all of us that are in a distress. And how do you remove the distress that we are feeling? Um, Lord, I ask you to um, look over the homeless, look over the sick. And heal us all. Amen.
God bless you.